All right, so here we are inside our spreadsheet. Now I've got some data here already and I want to actually convert this to a table. Now a table gives us certain powers like a named range but on steroids. So let me show you what we can do inside this space. So I've got my data and I'm going to come and format my data as a table. I'm going to convert that to a table and you'll notice that it's actually given me a name of this table. Now this can be referred to anywhere inside this spreadsheet but I'm going to rename it by just double clicking on it and typing in bakeries because that makes a bit more sense to me. Now knows that this bakeries refers to this entire range of data inside this table. But every single column is kind of like it's a unique identity. Now you'll notice that inside here already, I've got a little dollar symbol next to the annual income because this is money and the sheet has worked out that it should be actually in monetary format. So if we come and hit the downward arrow over here, we can actually edit the column type and we've got all these ones we can do as we can with any sort of um, number. We've also got date values we can pop in there as well and a whole lot of other bits and pieces. But it's actually picked up the right things for me, which is terrific. The other things I can do by column is I can just click over here. Let me just drop my little drop down arrow again. I can sort this column. I can also filter this column and I also can group by this column as well, which is very handy. But I want to do some calculations. So let's come across to the right hand side here. And I'm just going to work out, say, the sum of the annual income. Now, if I did that normally, what I'd have to do is work out the range of the data and do sum of say B2 or in this case E2 through to E37 and it would add it up for me. And that can be quite problematic because you've got to keep on searching for the range of your data, especially if you've got a very big data set in front of you. But let's have a look at how we can use the table function to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go equal sum. I'm going to go like this and I want to find the sum of the annual income. So I'm just going to start typing in annual income. And notice what it picks up for me is two words that mention the annual income. I've got the annual income and the annual expenses. So I want to grab this one in here and it's grabbed the table range for me already. And I'm just going to go this one here, please. And it's going to drop it in there, put a bracket around the outside and it's got it for me as well. So it's automatically grabbed that for me as well, which is lovely. Now that means I can refer to this formula any sheet inside my spreadsheet. So if I come to here and add a new sheet, and so you make out, I want to work out the average, I'm going to go equals average. And instead of, I can't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to type in the word bakery. And notice that it brings up all the information for me. So I want to work out the average of the annual, I oh don't know, let's go to the annual income here. It's going to pop it in there for me, and it will drop it around like that. So automatically, I can pull up any figure, any calculation, from any column inside my spreadsheet by just referring to it like I would normally do in a named range. But let me show you one more thing, which is pretty cool in this space. So I'm gonna come back to here, come back to this column in here. Now, sometimes we need to do, I don't know, a whole lot of calculations in a spreadsheet. And we often do a formula that we need to work out and make sure it works, and then we copy it down. And sometimes we get caught with relative and absolute referencing. But we're using a table that's automatically covered for us when it does any calculations. So let's pretend that we want to work out the profit. Okay, and that's going to be our annual income, take away our expenses. So let's do that using the formulas inside the table. So I'm going to come in here and go equals. And I'm just going to go bakeries because I can't remember what they're called. Oh, there we go, bakeries. Let's go my annual income. And then I'm going to go take. And I'm going to go out to get bakeries because I can't remember what they're called. Ah, my annual expenses. There we go. And that will tell me that one there. If I just go return, it does it for me. And then it says, oh, do you want to fill down? Oh, yes, please. All done. And I'm just going to come in here, rename this profit. Oh, it could also be a loss, couldn't it? And now we've got our profit and loss sitting inside this space really nicely. Now let's have a look at what it's doing with the formulas. If I click on here, you'll notice that I've got the annual income take away the expenses. If I click on the next one, it's also got the same formula as we go down. So this is taking into account the relative referencing that we need, and I don't have to change the formula for it. So these calculations can be done anywhere inside the spreadsheet because it just gets that information back from my bakery's table. Super good, super cool, and there's lots of functionality about to come that's going to make these even more powerful inside our spreadsheets.